If you ever run into that frustrating message saying choose another phone number or email address to call while trying to use FaceTime on your iPhone, don't worry, you're not alone. This problem usually pops up because of issues with contact settings, Apple ID configurations or even some app data hiccups. But guess what? I'm here to help you sort it all out with some easy solutions that will get FaceTime back up and running smoothly. Let's dive right in. Solution 1. Delete and re-add numbers for FaceTime and iMess. First, open settings on your iPhone. Next, tap on your Apple ID at the top of the screen. After that, select Sign In and Security. Here, you should see a number listed as unavailable for iMessage and FaceTime. Tap on that number to proceed. Now select Remove from Account. Finally, you'll need to re-add the number from this same screen. Solution 2. Sign out and sign back in with your Apple ID. Begin by opening settings on your iPhone. Next, tap on your Apple ID located at the top of the screen. After that, scroll down and tap on sign out. Once you've signed out, wait a few moments then sign back in using your Apple ID. Now check FaceTime and iMessage to see if the issue has been resolved. Solution 3. Offload and reinstall FaceTime. Start by opening settings, then scroll down and tap on general. Select iPhone storage. Locate FaceTime in the list and tap on it. Now tap offload app, then choose reinstall app. Solution 4. Enable background app refresh. First, open settings. Next, scroll down and tap on general. After that, keep scrolling down to find and tap on background app refresh. Make sure background app refresh is set to Wi-Fi and cellular data. Finally, scroll down to confirm that both iMessage and FaceTime are enabled. Solution 5. Reset all settings. Begin by opening settings. Next, scroll down and tap on general. After that, scroll down again and select transfer or reset iPhone. Tap on reset, then choose reset all settings. Confirm your choice and let the reset process complete. Don't worry, this won't delete your data. By following the steps, you should be able to resolve the choose another phone number or email address to call error on your FaceTime. If this guide helped you out, make sure to save it for any future troubleshooting you might need. Thanks for watching and happy FaceTiming.